The J-50 Chinese fighter jet has become a topic of significant interest and speculation within defense and aviation circles in recent years. Although official confirmation from Chinese authorities remains limited, a growing body of evidence from defense analysts, satellite imagery, and credible leaks suggests that China is actively developing a next-generation stealth fighter that may be designated as the J-50. This aircraft is widely believed to be a carrier-based stealth fighter intended for operation from China's future aircraft carriers, particularly the Type 003 Fujian and beyond. As China continues to modernize its naval aviation capabilities, the J-50 represents a potential leap forward in terms of technology, operational reach, and strategic projection. If the J-50 does exist as currently theorized, it would likely be developed by the Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group, the same manufacturer responsible for the J-20, China's first operational fifth-generation stealth fighter. However, unlike the J-20, which is primarily designed for land-based air superiority missions, the J-50 is expected to fulfill a different role, one tailored specifically for naval operations. This distinction is critical, as carrier-based aircraft must meet stringent requirements regarding structural strength, corrosion resistance, compact dimensions, and short takeoff and landing capabilities. The J-50 would need to incorporate reinforced landing gear, an arrestor hook for carrier landings, and folding wings to optimize storage space aboard a carrier deck. In terms of design, early renderings and analyst assessments suggest the J-50 will feature a twin-engine configuration, which offers greater redundancy and safety over open water. A crucial consideration for naval aviation, the aircraft is also expected to adopt a flying wing or blended wing body design with canted vertical stabilizers or possibly even a tailless configuration to maximize stealth characteristics. These design choices would help reduce radar cross-section and infrared signature, making the J-50 significantly harder to detect and track compared to previous generation Chinese naval fighters like the J-15. The propulsion system of the J-50 remains a subject of speculation, but it is likely to be powered by advanced turbofan engine, possibly the WS-15 or a naval optimized derivative. The WS-15, which is also slated for use in the J-20, is reported to offer thrust vectoring capabilities and improved fuel efficiency both of which would enhance the J-50's maneuverability and range. If China has indeed mastered the production of reliable high-thrust engines domestically, this would mark a major milestone in reducing dependence on foreign engine technology, a historical bottleneck in Chinese military aviation development. Avionics and sensor integration are expected to be among the J-50's strongest features. Analysts anticipate that the aircraft will be equipped with an advanced active electronically scanned array radar, distributed aperture systems for 360 degree situational awareness, and a next generation electronic warfare suite. These systems would enable the J-50 to detect, track, and engage multiple targets simultaneously while remaining largely invisible to enemy radar. Additionally, the fighter is likely to support network-centric warfare, allowing it to share real-time data with other platforms, such as airborne early warning aircraft, surface ships, and fellow fighters to create a cohesive and responsive combat environment. Weapon systems integration is another area where the J-50 is expected to excel as a stealth platform. It will almost certainly carry its armaments internally to preserve its low observable profile. This internal weapons bay could accommodate a mix of beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, precision guided air-to-surface munitions, and potentially even anti-ship missiles.
The inclusion of anti-ship capabilities would align with China's broader naval strategy of area denial and power projection in contested waters such as the South China Sea and the Western Pacific. Operational deployment of the J-50 would significantly enhance the combat effectiveness of China's carrier strike groups. Currently, the People's Liberation Army Navy relies on the J-15, a derivative of the Russian Su-33, which lacks stealth capabilities and is increasingly outmatched by advanced US and Allied naval. Fighters like the F-35C, the introduction of a true fifth-generation carrier-based stealth. Fighter would narrow this technological gap and provide China with a credible means to challenge U.S. naval dominance in key maritime regions. Moreover, the J-50's development reflects China's long-term ambition to build a Blue Water Navy capable of sustained operations far from its shores. By fielding advanced carrier-based aircraft, China aims not only to defend its maritime interests, but also to project power globally. A strategic shift that has major implications for regional and international security dynamics. It is important to note, however, that much of what is known about the J-50 remains unconfirmed. Unlike the J-20, which was officially unveiled and has entered serial production. The J-50 has not been formally acknowledged by Chinese state media or defense officials. Most information comes from defense industry insiders, satellite photos of suspected test facilities, and analysis of procurement patterns. This lack of transparency is typical of China's approach to next-generation military programs which are often shrouded in secrecy until they are near operational readiness. Despite the uncertainties, the trajectory of China's military aviation development strongly suggests that a carrier-based stealth fighter is not only plausible, but likely. The country has invested heavily in aircraft carrier construction, naval infrastructure, and pilot training programs tailored for carrier operations. The J-50, if it materializes as expected, would be the natural culmination of these efforts. In summary, the J-50 represents a potential game-changer in the realm of naval aviation. With its anticipated stealth capabilities, advanced avionics, twin-engine reliability, and carrier-specific design features, it could redefine the balance of power in maritime theaters where air superiority from the sea is paramount. While definitive details remain scarce, the strategic logic and technological momentum behind the J-50 point toward its eventual emergence as a cornerstone of China's future naval air power. As global attention continues to focus on the Indo-Pacific region, the development and deployment of the J-50 will undoubtedly be watched closely by defense establishments around the world.